Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mod's Mod Spotlight for Fallout 4 on the Xbox One. Today we're going to be talking about spawn items. This is a very robust um, mod, and it's also really game-breaking. So, um, obviously use it only if you really, really don't mind ruining your game, getting, you know, weapons that do 10,000 damage and, and that sort of thing. So, um, first thing that's going to happen when you install the mod is you're going to get a... Um, uh, hollow tape in your miscellaneous in your inventory and this is how you access the cheat menu essentially um, luckily it's labeled so it's always at the top well usually at the top so uh, you have many many options here um, first are spawn NPCs um, you can spawn settlers uh, settlers in power armor all sorts of things so if you want you know security guards or what have you you can do that so let's just spawn a regular settler and they appear usually around your general area. So there we go. As a settler, you can use them for whatever you'd normally use a settler for. Um, next up is spawn follower. So, you know, any of the any of these followers here, you can just pick one. Um, and there you go. You can give them, you can trade with them like you normally would. They usually come pretty kitted out with a lot of stim packs, a lot of rounds for their weapons, what have you. Um, and everybody seems to have this uh, basic doctor's dialogue. They're, everybody's a doctor. Um, barter. So, yeah. So you can just interact with them that way. Um, let's go back up to our platform here. As you see, I have a uh, jetpack. It's uh, another part of this mod that you can, uh, that you can enable. Uh, so let's see what else we have here. Uh, spawn synth container. Now, these are very helpful. Um, they're essentially living containers, they're people, um, but they all come with uh, different loadouts, different inventories. So the first guy has weapons, armor, uh, supplies, the doctor, yada yada. So let's just do the container legendary. This guy's pretty awesome. Um, I also noticed, at least with the legendary guy um, and the weapon guy, uh, their inventories are often different. So um, if he doesn't have what you're looking for, uh, someone else might. So all he is is just uh, he's gonna talk a little bit, and then you can uh, you can access his inventory. They all have that stupid doctor uh, that doctor line when they come up. All right, there it is. Sometimes they're a little buggy. Uh, so as you can see, he's got 50 bobby pins, 50,000 caps, um, and he has a ton of legendary armor. Um, like I said, it's randomized, so if you don't find the one that you want, you can uh, just call in another one, and they might have what you're looking for. And you can just take it. Just take from them what you want. Let's go ahead and just take the... Um, let's take the Gatling laser. That seems pretty awesome. 50% more damage against humans. All right. Um, so this is a lot of fun. You can just, just cruise down here and just see all the different weapons with the different... Um, Legendary modifiers. Uh, there is a mod to take the legendary modifiers off some weapons and put them on others So this might be a good way of getting them if you're looking for specifics um, They also despawn after a little while. Let's see there you go or if you walk away a certain distance uh, the follower and the um, uh, The settler will not despawn They're permanent. So let's get back up to our platform here um, So those little container guys are great. You can call them in whenever you want get some extra caps um, they're pretty great. So, spawn synth container. Now, spawn workshop slash workbench. This is phenomenal. Uh, you have, you know, you can chemistry station armor, power armor, yada, yada, yada. You can already make all that stuff in Fallout. That's not that impressive. But what you can do is you can spawn a workbench. Now, I don't know... I haven't tested this too extensively, so be careful, save your games, back it up. Um, this can get really buggy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily put down another workshop in your settlement already, um, but I'm, I'm well outside the, the settlement boundaries at this point, um, if you're familiar with the Starlight Diner. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spawn another workshop out here. Yeah, if you spawn one in your settlement, it might, might make things buggy, I'm not sure. Um, but essentially what this does is it spawns a workshop with uh, already with a thousand of pretty much every crafting material And then what you can do is you can craft. I mean well make a settlement pretty much wherever you want uh, You can just start throwing down Start throwing down structures and again, it's not I mean this isn't 
the game wasn't meant to do this, so it's going to get buggy if you're not careful. <clears throat> so I wouldn't go too crazy building outside of a normal settlement, but try it out. Experiment with it. Um, the, the downside of this is um, you can scrap some things, but not all things. Like these trees, they're not scrappable. So if you're hoping to, you know, clear out a factory like this one up ahead and clear out all the junk, you might not be able to. Um, also, the, the range on the workshop is not unlimited. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the limits of it. I think if we walk away this far, let's see. Outside buildable area. So pretty much from here to uh, where that structure is, is about the borders. The borders don't show up um, for some, well, not for some reason. It's not intended to show up. The, the borders aren't drawn because you're throwing down a workshop wherever you want. But if you want to make a little outpost somewhere, make a trading post somewhere that looks really cool, you can definitely do that. Um, oh, I came in hard. So um next up uh spawn power armor it's also pretty self-explanatory let's uh spawn us uh, sentinel power armor um a lot of this stuff kind of takes a second so don't don't get impatient um with it give it a few seconds and uh a neat uh person shows up and uh usually they despawn right away there you go yeah so they deliver your power armor and then you can just hop right in <clears throat> like you normally would and you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, you can also just spawn in power armor frames if you want. If you have a bunch of armor that you want to throw on a frame, um, that is also an option. Yeah, if you want to just do a frame. Uh, sometimes they're expensive or hard to find, so if you're trying to kit out your, uh, your armory and you want to make a really cool setup with a lot of power armor, there you go. Yeah, see, she thinks she's a doctor too. Everybody's a doctor. All right, so I'm gonna just get out of this power armor here. And uh, I'm gonna fix myself, because that's annoying. Okay, so next up is the um, spawning inventory. Now this is, it, it, you can do the same thing with containers and stuff. Um, this just makes it a little easier. So you can give yourself 100,000 caps. You can give yourself 100 bobby pins. All ammo gives you 1,000 of every ammo type, I believe. All weapons gives you all weapons, all armors, all consumables. <clears throat> all crafting materials is amazing because what you can do is you can spam this a couple times. And I think each time it gives you, I think everything gives you 1,000. So let's see. Yeah, so 1,000. I did it three times, so I have a thousand of every crafting material, um, and you can just drop that off in whatever workshop you're working in, and um, yeah, you can do it as many times as you want, so that's that's phenomenal. If you want to just kind of play around, it's kind of like creative mode in Minecraft, if you're familiar with that at all. Um, so next up is player settings. Now, this is where it gets really cool. You can change all your resistances to uh, 10,000, so we'll do that. Um, turn all specials on 100, which I already have that on. Health to 10,000. Uh, action points, uh, carry weight, invisibility when sneaking. No fall damage. Now, I'm going to leave that off for now because I want to show you something else in a little bit, but that would have prevented my leg crippling damage. Effect jetpack. That's what allows me to use the jetpack at all times. Uh, low duration fusion cores, or low drain fusion cores. You can use fusion cores for long longer. And then jump height on 3x. So that's already on. So I can jump. That's just a normal jump. You can jump on top of buildings that way. Um, but as you can see, if I just double tap Y, I have the jet pack. He even does the little arms out, which is cool. Um, but I still take fall damage, so that's that's a bit of a problem. Um, so that's the first set of player settings. Player settings set two. Auto health is on. That's what I wanted to show you in a second. Auto ammunition. Um, anytime your ammo gets under 100, it automatically kicks it back up to 500. You can add one level to t or 10 levels and you can do that as many times as you want. Add all magazines, which is fantastic. Apply all perks, which I'm gonna do right now. Um, let me show you my perk chart. I think I only have one in, in any perk right now. Let's see. Yeah, I have one in, in uh, Iron Fist. Oh, and one in, in Pants. So yeah, so you can see I don't have any, I have the, all my specials, but I don't have anything in uh, any points in anything else. So let's go ahead and do that um, apply all perks. Uh, this does take a second, and the game warns you not to mess around while it's working. It's just applying perks. Uh, wait, the end of the process is uh, 
wait the end of the process is lengthy but is recommended to do but is recommended to do nothing while it's running essentially the, the needs rephrasing um if you perform other actions the system could crash i think that's talking about maybe the game or your computer so i don't think that's flavor text or anything i think that's like an, a legitimate warning so give it a second and then if you check your perk chart no 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 you have everything uh, you can also take all your perks away again if you feel that's a little bit cheaty and then just give yourself some levels and 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 uh, do it that way um let's see uh, at the very bottom, you can reset um, reset all your perks. Uh, show all map markers, also very good. Um, let's see. Let's check the map here, and I'll show you. Uh, I've played this game a little bit on this character, but I haven't explored very much at all. But uh, if you go back to um, back to your inventory, back to holotape, back to player settings, and apply show all map mark <clears throat> excuse me map markers come back to map and there's everything so uh there was a perk in new vegas and i think even the original fallout fallout 3 i think that had that um that you could uh show all the locations you can't fa fast travel to them yet uh, you've not discovered it yet but at least it shows you where everything is so you can, can uh, get an idea of where to explore so that's pretty cool i like that um I mean, that's probably worth it for the mod alone, just being able to get all the map locations. So let's do um, let's do the next thing that I wanted to show you uh, is auto health. So I have auto health is on, and uh, as you can see, you can still take damage, um, but if you get below a certain amount of health, it will automatically recharge uh, your health. It doesn't make you invincible, because you can still die to radiation damage or if an enemy hits you for a lot of damage. There it goes, automatically pops back up. Doesn't fix my legs though. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bummer, but uh, we'll just stim pack and fix that. All right. So I'm gonna head back to uh, the Starlight drive-through because the next bit is going to be really fun. Um, this is um, where the mod creator added in a lot of really neat stuff that is um, that you can turn on or off, but when you turn it on, it's always in your inventory. So um, first things first, let's uh, turn on no fall damage before I hit the ground here under player settings. No fall damage. There we go. Bingo. All right. So um, it doesn't, um, auto health does not recharge, uh, I'm sorry, does not heal rad damage, so you can die from rad damage as well. Um, so here are the mod creator perks. Um, all these things are amazing. So there's a, there's an amazing pistol, an amazing rifle that do crazy amounts of damage, a cryogenic explosion, uh, explosion weapon, uh, liberty prime grenade, sentry bot grenade, assaultron grenade, um, all this neat stuff. So let me show you uh, Armor Ranger New Vegas and call in reinforcements, grenade enemy. Okay, so first thing is the New Vegas armor is this stuff right here. And it's pretty cool. Uh, as you can tell, everything has a crazy amount of damage resistance. It's 500 and this, I mean this one right here, um, the whole body is like pretty much invincibility at that point. Uh, not to mention, it looks really cool. I like that, uh, the chest piece, the all body suit. It's really cool. Okay, so um, what else that, um, actually I should leave that on. Um, what else that mod did was it added all this neat weaponry. So here's uh, the pistol I was talking about. It's an automatic pistol. Here's the rifle. It's an automatic rifle. It does crazy amounts of damage. And you'll see if I go below 100, ammo it are at 100 i should say it automatically gives me 500 more so you with with auto ammo on you have unlimited amounts of ammo um there's also a cryogenic explosive weapon that's pretty crazy uh that will kill you uh pretty much in one hit if you're not careful so uh don't shoot it too close to yourself uh and in fact i will probably for the remainder of this go ahead and turn on um 10,000 health um, under player settings one. Let's turn on 10,000 health. Okay. 
Uh, I still don't want to risk it because this weapon does. Well, let's see what it is. It does an, an insane amount of damage and it's uh, AOE, so. Cryogenic explosives. Uh, yeah, 25,000 uh, damage. So that's a little bit more than the health that I have, I think. So maybe I want to be careful. Actually, I have 51. Oh, let's give it a try and see. That's what quick saves are for, right? Nope. Yeah, that killed me. So be very careful. Um, it'd be kind of nice if you could tone that down. Uh, I don't know why you would need that to do that much damage, but that's what the other two weapons are for. They're not AOE. They're single target. So they won't. They won't murder you. So, yeah, they don't do explosion damage, so you can use them right next to yourself, and you're fine. All right. So now what else it's added? It added... Um, something that's really neat called um where is it i think it's under aid yeah so call reinforcements um it says two but you can keep using it an unlimited amount of times and you're fine uh, it also added uh grenades energies which is what we're going to use right now and we're going to spawn some enemies and they'll immediately start attacking you they're all legendary from what i what i've been able to find um but with, oh geez, um, you know, with uh, this amazing weaponry, it does, it's not really a problem. So let's spawn in a few more. And let's call in the Assaultron. So this is another thing that you can call in and it just calls up an Assaultron and uh, they, uh, they just, they go to town. Uh, they do despawn after a little while, um, just like the reinforcements. So let's call in some reinforcements. And that's the reinforcement, uh, a little tiny Liberty Prime guy. And he's pretty awesome too. He just stomps around and he lasers everything. Um, I could see a problem with um, calling in too many, um, too many uh, enemy grenades at once because you're gonna get a lot of garbage on the ground. It's gonna be hard to sift through if you're looking for like, uh, like you wanna see what, what we have here. Reduce damage from ghouls. If you're looking for legendary stuff, um, it's gonna be hard to loot everything and um, this stuff never goes away. So don't do this in your, um, <laughs> in your uh, settlement unless you want a lot of garbage everywhere. Okay, um, I believe the reinforcement, I believe both those guys will despawn after a little while if they don't engage anything. Um, but pretty much the same thing. You can call in a sentry bot. He works the same way. You can call in um, dude in a power armor suit. And uh, you can call in Liberty Prime, which we've already called in, but let's call in another one. And you can call in a bunch of these guys, too. Um, that's going to just create just general chaos, so be careful. But uh, they don't, uh, I don't believe they attack you, even if you attack them. And they're pretty much invincible. So, well, at least to your attacks. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they can be killed by an enemy. Let's see if this works. Oh. Oh, Sentry Bot didn't like that. Yeah, they're invincible. So, okay. Um, also, as you can tell, these weapons cause um, a lot of lag with audio, um, especially the. Um, the two, uh, these two guys here. This guy right here just causes a crazy amount of, of lag. So if you use him too much, um, it'll take like three or four minutes sometimes for all the, the sounds to stop. So just be careful with that. Um, targeting HUD, um, just pretty much sensor enemies, you know, sensor allies, sensor dead. It's pretty much everything you think it is. It, it highlights things in different colors um, uh, and lets you see them through walls, which is pretty cool. Um, the highlight enemies is decent, um, especially because, um, you know, you can see through walls and see where the bad guys are. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, next up is time and weather. Now this is also really great. You can set the time to AM or PM, so it's already in the AM. Let's set it to PM. And now you're, it's nighttime. And, um... Obviously, uh, you can also set a lot of other options. There's um, rad storm, misty, rainy, foggy, dusk, uh, or dusty, uh, dark skies, which um, is also really cool. Um, can't really tell because it's not daytime. Let's set it back to daytime. 
Um, also, if you just press A, it takes forever for this UI to load. So it's dark skies in the daytime. It's kind of cool. Um, if you wait for every line to go, it's going to take forever. So just hit A to skip all that. Uh, so time and weather. And let's do um, let's do rain, because I like rain. Um, you can also set the, um, the time scale. And what this is is when you tra fast travel from one place to another, uh, the amount of time that's consumed when you do that. Um, so if you're trying to, you know, if you don't, if you're in the daylight and you want it to stay daylight when you're fast traveling, um, turn that to uh, to low, I believe, and um, it won't take as much time away from you when you fast travel different places. Let's, oh, see, look, it's a good thing we have detect enemy because we see an enemy down here. Now, I don't think the enemies despawn. I think they're, um, I think they stick around. So let's uh, see, where is he? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, it's oh my settler's gone 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 off the reservation. I don't know what happened there. She went rogue. Uh, probably all that freaking. I think I might have attacked her by accident with the um, the cryo gun because it's just insane. Um, and then lastly, we have the about where you can change it to Spanish or check out the info. You can see who the mod creator. Uh, email donations all that so uh, please check this mod out uh, the link will be in the descriptions um, it's really great but it is a little bit game breaking so um, I'm gonna leave it on because for further mod spotlights it's gonna be really neat to be able to jetpack around wherever I want to go please like this video if it was helpful uh, keep uh, up to date and uh, in the know with future our uh, mod spotlights by subscribing and then if you put down in the comments what mod you'd like me to do next i'll do a spotlight on whatever's most popular so thanks for watching